Last week I hinted that I was getting a new trials bike. You guys had some great guesses. A couple of you actually got it right. So, I am super stoked on how the build turned out. Finally got all the pieces in and I got it out for a couple short rips and man, it feels exactly how I want it to feel. So, here it is. Starting off with the frame. I actually went with a Trek Ticket dirt jump frame. You might be wondering why I went with the dirt jump bike for my trials ride. Well, I love the way the dirt jump bikes feel. And if you look at the geometry of modern day dirt jump bikes, they are actually very similar to the older trials bikes that Jeff Lenoski and Ryan Leach used to ride. This is one of the only dirt jump frames that has a very strong rear end and it looks like it has a beefy enough disc brake mount so that I can run a big rotor and do trials on it and the disc brake mount is not going to snap on me, uh, which I've had issues with in the past. The front fork, but I ended up going with the Pike. The Pike DJ, so far, it is the stiffest dirt jump fork I've ever ridden. Over the past few days riding, I've never even come close to bottoming it out and I'm not at full pressure yet. I want it to be this stiff because when I'm doing front wheel hops and front wheel moves, I need my power to be transferred to the front wheel. So I went with Bontrager SE3 Team tires. They're an enduro tire, so they're not as heavy as a downhill tire, but they still have some puncture resistance built in. For the front rim, I went with a Stans Flow uh, enduro rim because of its wide profile and its lightweight as well. For the front hub, I went with a Hope Pro 4 hub tried and true for the brakes I decided to try SRAM code I wanted to try SRAM because of the modulation that I've heard that they offer and so far they definitely do provide a lot more modulation than my Shimano brakes the power is a little bit less but with the 180 mil rotors I find that it is still enough for trials use I'm running the Spank Spoon bar cut down to 720 millimeters for bar spins also, I'm running a 30 millimeter stem. So that is very short in the trials world. It doesn't feel great when you're on the back wheel, but for streety moves and two wheeled maneuvers, it can't be beat. I feel like I'm in a great position. I'm also running a few centimeters of spacers under the stem and the front brake is routed through the steerer tube of the fork so that I can do as many bar spins as I like. They're the ODI long neck grips. They are the best grip I've ever ridden, and I've tried lots of grips in the past. There's no grip that feels as good with or without gloves as the ODI long neck. Moving on to the drivetrain. SRAM Descendant Cranks with a 28 tooth sprocket and Expedo Magnesium Body Pedals. These pedals are super slim, super light. The Descendant Cranks are 170 mil. Usually I run 175, so when I first got on the bike, it actually felt like the cranks were bent. It's just because my, my body was so used to a longer crank arm. The reason why I went with shorter cranks is for tail whips and no footed maneuvers. It's, it's easier to get your feet back in the correct position if they're shorter. You do sacrifice some power for pedal gaps. Behind the sprocket, there's an MRP bash guard rated for 30 teeth, I believe. It barely covers my 28 tooth sprocket. The chain is a KMC e-bike 9-speed chain. The e-bike chains are rated for a higher power than a standard chain. So for trials, it should work perfect. Behind the front sprocket, there is a grip wedged in there, in between the sprocket and the bottom bracket. That is a crank stopper. So when I'm doing tail whips and no-footed tricks, the cranks will not spin. The saddle is a Chromeg Overture. Nothing beats this saddle for comfort and for your ability to pinch it when you're doing bar spins. Chevet of Descendant seat post. On the back of the bike, it is a Spank Spike 35 rear rim. It's a very wide, very strong, very deep rim. I've been running it for a couple years and it's still straight and there are no hops. Rear end of the drivetrain, it's a 22 tooth Surly rear sprocket. So I'm running the gear ratio 28-22, which is a fairly light gear. It's a little bit harder than a traditional trials gear, but it's still light enough 
that I can do pedal gaps confidently. I also have a 12 tooth sprocket beside the 22. When I want to ride dirt jumps or BMX tracks or just ride a long distance to a spot, I can put the chain into that 12 tooth sprocket and run a one-sided Trialtech tensioner and that allows me to get to spots and to ride BMX tracks at high speed and ride dirt jumps and it really turns this bike into a do-everything bike. Finally, the rear hub. I'm really excited about this. It's an Industry 9 Hydra hub. Over 600 engagement points in that rear hub. It screams when you're going downhills. I splurged a little bit on that item, but listen to it. That's my bike check. It's my trials bike for the 2019 season. I'm super impressed with the way it rides. I can do all the trials maneuvers I love, and I can still ride dirt jumps and do bigger tricks. That's it for the bike check. I'm going to go out for a ride now and get some footage. You'll see how this thing performs on rocks, dirt jumps, trees, and in the streets. See you next time.